What's up everyone? John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here and we have a hands-on with the very elusive Samsung Galaxy Tab 8.9. Uh, this guy's been announced, but we haven't really seen it much in the wild. Uh, from a spec standpoint, very familiar to the Tab 10.1, 1280 by 800 screen, although it's got an 8.9 inch display, uh, it's got Samsung's TouchWiz on top, which is actually pretty neat. It's got these things called live panels. Let me show you. Go ahead and tap that, and I know you guys love that joke. It makes me laugh every time, too. Uh, I know to launch stuff right on top of whatever you're doing, which is a uh, sort of neat little trick. All right, but enough of that. Let's go ahead and talk about specs and take a tour of the device. Uh, from a spec standpoint, other than the screen size, it's almost identical, actually, to the Tab 10.1. So on the right-hand side, depending on how you're looking at it, or the left-hand side, let's go with right. So holding it up like this. Uh, you've got your power and lock button volume rocker up and down it looks very similar it's an extremely thin device 3.5 millimeter headset jack uh, that same white matte look on the back uh, I believe a 3 megapixel camera with autofocus uh, and LED flash and then there is your charging port and uh, dual speakers and it sounds like the tab is yelling at me uh, there are a few differences here uh, now that we've got TouchWiz sitting on top of, of course, Honeycomb uh, being powered by NVIDIA's Tegra 2 processor. Uh, so we've got some sort of unique things here you don't see uh, in typical Honeycomb. So this is a bit of a, a tweak here in settings. And if we go ahead and jump on into them, uh, you can see things look a little bit different. Very uh, Samsung TouchWiz E. Uh, one of the other cool things that I'm really happy about is that button right there. That takes a screenshot. Or whatever you're doing so you get a noise go ahead and hit it boom and uh, now you've got a screenshot of what you're doing so you've got some Samsung widgets here of course that you've seen uh, in touch with they've been uh, tabletized so you can take a look at uh, some of them here go ahead and jump on into widgets you can see what they are Samsung Samsung uh, a few of them are Samsung ish active applications you guys can go ahead and see what uh, all those are. And because we are dealing with uh, honeycomb, go ahead and remove that. Uh, you can uh, resize them. You can resize some of the uh, custom Samsung widgets. So let's go ahead and hold this down, move it, and then hopefully I can show you that we can resize it. There we go. And now you can resize it and make that guy bigger or smaller. Uh, whatever you want to do to him. We'll go ahead and uh, move him back around. But that's not the only treat uh, that I have here, and I just had this for a few minutes. I managed to sneak it away from the Samsung folks. I also have, boom, a laptop dock. And this thing's kind of cool. It actually is going to fit the Tab uh, 8.9 or the Tab 10.1. So go ahead and drop that sucker right in, and boom, you've got a keyboard, separate power, uh, and it works pretty well, actually. So let's go ahead and see if we can find something to type with. Let's go ahead and take a look at apps. Let's check out browser. Uh, no internet connectivity here, unfortunately. Don't type URL. So it's typing pretty quickly. Uh, Techno Buffalo actually uh, started populating. Uh, and it works. It's a keyboard. You can hide the on screen keyboard if you like. Uh, here are some of the options on it. They're going to drag this away from me in a minute, so I don't have that much time to show you. Uh, but you guys can see uh, all this right here. Uh, relatively decent size, you can see sort of versus my hand. Uh, for a size comparison, uh, let me show you what with the BlackBerry 9900, since that's what I have handy. Um, so it's a pretty decent sized keyboard, check with form factor. Let's go ahead and pull this out of here. With one hand is a bit more difficult thing to expect. Uh, let's see how thick the keyboard dock is. Uh, it's not that bad, actually. You can see there's that same charging port if you want to charge it. Um, and there is a bit of a rubber stopper uh, on the back. So push that off to the side and put that down. And this has been a very quick, a uh, little bit rushed tour, let's say, of the uh, Samsung Galaxy Tab 8.9. I don't have any sort of carrier availability or anything like that or when it's going to be able to uh, purchase one. Uh, but it is announced, and here it is in the wild. It's sort of the Loch Ness monster of the tablet world. Uh, so, Samsung Galaxy Tab 8.9. I am John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo, and hopefully I'll have more information for you uh, on this guy very soon. So is this a tablet you've been waiting for? Is this a form factor that you want? Do you like the 8.9 screen versus the 10.1? Uh, it's a bit smaller, certainly not pocketable, uh, but a relatively uh, decent form factor. So I'm John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo, and I'll see you in the next video.